On the first breath in, we let go of all of our problems, concerns, schedules, and plans, and surrender into the love of God here present. We breathe out and let go. On our second breath in, we welcome a moment of silence. This sacred silence ushers us into the contemplative dimension of our faith. We breathe out and let go. And on the third breath in, we sink as deeply as we can into our hearts, into the depths of our hearts, where we discover, as always, the sanctuary space that is our sacred meeting place with God. In that place, we call out to the God of love to touch us in precisely the places we need God's compassion the most. The Catholic Community of Sacred Heart welcomes you to this celebration of the most holy sacrifice of the Mass on the second Sunday of Advent. Thank you for joining us for this liturgy. We know that this is a very busy season, so making a gift of yourself to God first is a wonderful way to celebrate. And so together, we gather and we celebrate our Lord. Make straight the path for him. Let the King of glory enter in. Let the King of glory enter in. Who is this King?
In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father, the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of their Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Well, hello to all of you. We are the 12 apostles of Punta Gorda, thrilled and excited to be celebrating the second Sunday of Advent with you. To prepare ourselves to enter into the mystery of this deep prayer, we become as present as we can, and in humility, we open our hearts to the Lord to touch us in those places we need his help the most. You came to call sinners, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You call us just as we are, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You reveal your compassion and love to us, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord rests upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearances shall he judge, nor by hearsay should he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness the belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be the guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors, together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox, and the baby play in the cobra's den. And the child shall lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all of my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full, filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction, that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another in keeping with Christ Jesus that with one accord you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome, then, one another, as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm his promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. The word of the Lord. Thanks 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 be to God. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. John the Baptist appeared, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now, the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance. But the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, The season of Advent is very special for the the sense of expectancy and advenire, the two Latin words that make up this word mean toward the coming. And Christmas is God's answer 
to many, many centuries of the human heart longing for God to intervene in human suffering and strife and war, for God to come in and finally lay to rest the enemies of the human spirit, the human heart. And uh, even John today uh, in the gospel, my goodness, he is expecting the Messiah to be as was the hope of the entire house of Israel, expecting a superstar. Oh my goodness, someone with talent and sharpness and raw muscle power who could outgun everyone, who would be so on top of his game that there was nothing that would stop his promotion of the good and his destruction of the bad. Someone so charismatic that he would be irresistible, that he would refute everyone. He would be the Messiah, the ruler, the king of all time, king of kings forever. And what is God's answer to that? A baby in the straw. It's it's just kind of so underwhelming that if we look deeply, it's overwhelming. Why a baby laying helpless in a manger? Why would God choose to be born in just such a way and to reveal his godship and his divinity? The power of God is revealed at Christmas in the form of a baby and nothing more and nothing less. Why a baby? Well, first of all, you can't argue with a baby. You don't find the baby second-guessing you. You don't find the baby trumping you. You don't find the baby arm wrestling with you, although some mothers might disagree with that, but you don't find the baby getting into mind games with you, controlling you, or doing anything else. The baby is simply there, helpless, and you actually have to coax the baby to get anything out of that baby. You you have to kind of speak baby talk to the baby, and if you've noticed and looked deeply at mothers when they hold their little one, there's a grace over them that really is the deepest clue we have about the love of God. Without question, she would lay down her life for this baby. No question. When I've spoken to parents who have a newborn, they all tell me they would never have dreamed they could be so selfless. They're attuned to the first whimper of the baby. They're up in the middle of the night. They have rearranged their lives totally for the sake of the baby. And it's the baby's presence that has brought out the best in them, the deepest love, the deepest mystery. So why a baby? The baby brings out the best in us, and the baby eventually will be revealed in its depth of love and gentleness on the cross. When the baby, now Christ, does not save himself, but surrenders totally and says forgiveness is the key to love. Finally, with his last gasp, and then, of course, takes the worst thing in the world and makes it the best thing that ever happened, the revelation of eternal life. The presence of children at Sacred Heart is something too rare for us, really. We're an older community here. But when children are at Mass, we have something at the end that's a tradition of ours. I like to sit on the front steps there, and uh, after we've had communion, 
we uh, gather the children for their blessing. But together, we give the blessing. And here are these little ones. And uh, we put our hands out and uh, sing a little blessing to the people. And I watch my congregation get totally disarmed. It is amazing. The whole church full of smiles and a tenderness comes over us that is really a selfless, loving, dare I say, innocent moment in our liturgy, so pure and lovely, brought out in us by these little ones in their purity and goodness. Christ Jesus will teach us, unless you become as one of these, you will not know the kingdom. That gentleness, that purity, that innocence is God's nature itself. There's even a book, I think, that's called What on Earth Can We Do With This Gentle God? We expect God, don't we, to be bold, brash, superstar-like, and be able to outgun anyone or anything. But instead, we get this exquisitely gentle and patient God, something like snow falling on snow, something so beautiful and still like the night in Bethlehem, something so peaceful that lies eternally in the depths of our hearts. May we learn this Advent how to touch that manger alive within us and to have Christ reborn in and through our own spirit. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And we will say our Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we await the revelation of Christ's glory at the end of the ages, let us ask the Father to hear and answer the prayers we make in the name of the Beloved Son. That the Spirit of the Lord may rest upon all who are entrusted with authority in the Church, granting them wisdom, counsel, and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of nations, that they earnestly seek to establish and maintain peace, resolve conflicts, and direct resources into healing people, families, and communities that have been broken by war. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That sinners may hear and take to heart the call to repent and to accept the mercy offered by God's only Son, We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all those in our community who endure suffering, rejection, or loneliness, that they may find the fullness of peace in the coming of our Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That Christ may find us watching and waiting when he comes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for the sick of our parish and for all who have asked our prayers, the homebound, the military, law enforcement personnel, and first responders. We pray for those who have died recently and for those whose anniversaries of death occur at this time. May the light of Christ lead them to eternal glory. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, ruler of all times and seasons, we ask you to fill these days of waiting with your saving love. Help us grow in our love for you and for each other and be at peace in your sight. Bring us to the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name, name for our good and good of all his holy church. church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Together we lift up our hearts and pray the beautiful prayer Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the, the glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus, you said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace is my gift to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer to each other now a sign of our love and peace. And if you are praying with us in solitude this day, join me, won't you please, in just a tender moment of silence as we pray for the peace of all the world.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, what a privilege and joy for us to be able to pray with you during this Advent season. We send you all of our love here from Panagorda, wherever you are in this world, 
and we thank you with our hearts for spreading this good news however you can by hitting the like button or by hitting the share button or by helping us with a donation and especially your comments. We love to receive them. We love hearing from you. And uh, we will do our best to keep our fires lit within us so that we continue to bring you as much love and as much peace in Christ Jesus as we can. The Lord be with you. And with with your spirit. And the beautiful and tender blessing of the great St. Francis of Assisi. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he show his face to you and be gracious to you. May he reveal to you this day his providence, tenderness, and care for you and all the days of your lives. May he at this moment touch you with the grace of his peace. The Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration of the Eucharist is now finished. We go forth in peace and in joy to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Yes.